Flaps. Uh, nou, pff, ah, zou, niet, zou niet nodig moeten zijn. Ja. Oh, wat een kutzender. Goed. Maar ik hoef weinig aan te trimmen eigenlijk. Zie je van het geluid van de motor? Veel. Ja. ja hè? Noisy, noisy. Ik heb de prop ook niet gebalanceerd hoor, gewoon alles out of the box. Ik vlieg op ongeveer 50%. procent. Um, uh, flying at about 50%. procent. <laughs> moet wel uh, Engels houden. Oké, okay. well, needless to say, it flies super easy. Uh, visibility with the stripes at the bottom is quite good, right? Yes, indeed. And okay, let's give it a little more throttle and maybe try some inverted. Oh, it's like slowish, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. It's hard to get uh, inverted. It doesn't. Uh, yes, they do with the motor. Uh, yeah. It really fights you when you try to get it inverted. I'm sure it. Does invert it, but well, this being a beginner plane, <laughs> which beginner is going to be flying inverted on its first flight? And uh, like uh, Nick uh, mentioned in Dutch, but uh, the propeller is a bit noisy. I did no balancing whatsoever. I ju I'm just flying everything out of the box, as any beginner would. No beginner will have a prop balancer, I think. Right? Right. But uh, she flies uh, great, very easy. Um, of course, the transmitter is nothing luxurious, but it works, as you can see. Okay, let's bring her up a little higher and see how she floats. She's, she's slowish. Ah, uh, that's. Also, what you're used to, of course. Okay. You do a good throttle. Yeah, I'm going. I've got uh, zero throttle at the moment. Can you use the thermal? Uh, I think you should be able to use a thermal. Yes. As you can see, it floats. Wow, nicely. Yeah. Nicely. It's it's hardly dropping it. Any. Yeah. Wow. Ja, yeah, and it uh, crawls at uh, crawls by. Even at this uh, this uh, speed, it's still very controllable. Wow. You use the ailerons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't uh, used uh, flaps at all okay. since uh, that's not standard. The flap servos don't don't come standard with the plane, so I'm not using those. Okay. I'm sure you can uh, get it down to even a slower crawl with the flaps. Okay, let's try a full speed uh, pass then. Into the wind, by the way, so... Okay... I'm at uh, full throttle now. Okay, that's nice. Not super fast, but for a beginner, well, not bad at all. And still very controllable. 
I would have uh, expected with that uh, motor angle like this, uh, the nose would be pushed down on full throttle. But that's not the case. No, not at all. Wow. That um, motor angle seems to work very, very well. At all speeds. Yeah, which is hmm, nice. surprising, really. Okay, I've got the throttle cut again. Wow. I'm, oh, I'm, amazing. I'm flying completely hands off at the moment. I'm not doing anything. Wow. Super easy. <laughs> okay, oh, oh. can I still control it? Yes, I can. Yeah, this should be super easy to land. And how do you land? Uh, do you land with the nose into the wind? Yes, yes I will, yeah. Always. I'm sure most pilots will notice, but beginners might not. You always take off and land with your nose into the wind. And that's because of the lift you get for free then? Yeah, well, actually you get, uh, if for instance the wind is 10, uh, 10 miles an hour and you're uh, throwing it 10 miles an hour, well, you basically have 10 miles an hour of uh, free, free uh, speed okay. to generate um, more lift. And on the landings uh, you can uh, land it 10 miles an hour slower and still have it be uh, controllable. So it's uh, always a benefit. Um, oh, by the way, it's about uh, it's around freezing, I think, at yes, the moment. Yes, so that uh, might influence the flying time. Uh, what would you say? How long have I been, have I been flying now? Five minutes? At least. At yeah, least. at least. Yes. I'll just uh, fly the battery until it's uh, dead. Although. In warmer climates, uh, you will uh, get uh, at least 50% more time. Oh, 50? 50, yeah, yeah, 50%. Well, there's nothing really wrong with this. It's it's a bit <laughs> slowish, but uh, that's more my uh, reference uh, because I'm used to uh, faster planes. But it's super controllable. Of course, I won't do uh, anything like uh, durability tests uh, in the <laughs> <laughs> in terms of uh, crashing it over and over. That's more a thing for uh, RC cars, I think. Yeah, it's noisy. And I also s noticed the rear wheel. Yeah, it's a, yeah. I took off the main landing gear, but uh, taking off the rear wheel is a bit, bit more uh, cumbersome. Okay. And I'm not sure if you can uh, put it back after re uh, removing it. So uh, it should be just fine uh, on grass. But well, actually, I like it. It has more uh, scale uh, looks. Then. True. Yeah. Actually, what I heard and read was that the main landing gear that comes with this plane. Uh, it's very uh, uh, strong, but uh, on a grassy field like this, which is not very smooth, it's you will, you, you, yeah, you will rip out the bottom of the plane, <laughs> plane itself with it. So that's, um, yeah. So I opted for a belly landing uh, today. Okay. Um, of course, I'll see it uh, in the flight footage, but um, ten minutes, maybe. At least. Okay. Did you also do a looping with it? Let's let's see. Okay, for a looping I will also bring it with the nose into the wind, take a little dive to get some more airspeed and loop de loop. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, very easy. Would it also be recommended for a beginner to uh, Yeah what well, what I know from uh, my experience, uh, that's uh, one of the first thing you, things you want to do with the plane. Okay. Uh, see, if, <laughs> see if it loops. Okay, and let me also try a roll then. Yes. 
bit more speed. Oh, it rolls it very rolls. slow. Okay. And well, that's partly because of the aileron deflection. You can you can uh, set it up to have more aileron aileron deflection. Okay. But uh, as you can see, that was uh, very close call. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was expecting that. So, okay. but well, close call. Yes, a beginner would have definitely put Struggled. the put, uh, <laughs> put the plane into the ground on that. Okay, I can hear the motor winding down a little. So I'm, I think the battery is at, at its end now. And I'm just gonna throttle it down all the way and bring it in on a glide. And is it easy to land very nearby, very close? I'm or not sure. Dangerous? I think it, it's more floaty than what, what you would expect. But it's, it's easy nonetheless. All right. Well done. Here, I'll show you the aileron deflection and then you will know why the roll is, uh, is slow. But of course you can uh, alter that. And uh, nice hard, the, the, the hinges on the ailerons and the flaps. Yes, very Plas beautiful. Plastic, yeah. Only on the wing. The, the, the tail is just... Uh, kind of... Uh, well, yeah, compre compressed uh, aileron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 